Pressure cookers are a great option for maximising flavour in one-pot meals while producing tender results in a fraction of the time and energy they take by conventional methods. Electric pressure cookers are safe and easy to use and Breville recommends you follow a few simple steps for best results. Place your pressure cooker on a clean, level bench top where you have easy access to the pressure release valve without reaching over the cooker. Before pressure cooking, always inspect the lid and ensure the safety locking pin moves up and down freely. Always remove any oil or food residue left on this area. The pressure release valve and cover are clean and free of food or liquid. To check, twist and pull the pressure release valve cover off the lid and clip cover back into its original position. Finally, check the pressure safety valve is clean and free of food or liquid. Push the valve from inside so the valve sits open on the lid and remove any oil or food residue. Ensure the valve moves in and out smoothly before cooking. Attach the silicon lid seal to the seal holder. If you have a white seal, fit the seal so the arrows are facing away from the lid. If you have a grey seal, fit the seal so the arrows are facing towards the lid. To close the lid, align the arrows and turn clockwise to the lock position. The lid is correctly locked when the locking arrows are aligned and the safety locking pin is in the down position. The lid should be effortless to close and should only require the use of one hand in a smooth action. If you encounter resistance, do not force the lid closed. If the lid is difficult to close, remove the cooker and check that. The silicon seal is fitted correctly and turn the pressure release valve so it is in the open position. This will help reduce resistance when closing the lid. Once the lid is correctly locked, place the pressure release valve in the pressure position. Press the function button until the pressure cook light flashes. Enter your time and press start. The pressure cook light will stop flashing and the time will start counting down once the cooker reaches pressure. It is normal for the cooker to release small bursts of steam as it stabilises. If steam is released for longer than 20 seconds, the lid or seal may be incorrectly fitted. Press cancel, release all internal pressure and refit the lid. When the cooking cycle is complete, the timer will stop counting down and the LCD will display zero. It is now safe to depressurize the cooker. Never place your hands, arms or face over the pressure release valve when the cooker is in use. Pressure can be released by pressing and holding the steam release button in short bursts to prevent large jets of steam being released. For a fast steam release, Use a wooden spoon to turn the pressure release valve into the open position. Take care, as the jet of steam may be hazardous. Soups, stocks and recipes with a lot of liquid can force liquid through the pressure release valve during pressure release. Release pressure in intervals by pressing and releasing the steam release button. Or switch the cooker off at the wall and let it depressurize naturally.
After all internal pressure is released, turn the pressure release valve to the open position. The lid should be effortless to open and should only require the use of one hand in a smooth action. If the lid will not unlock or you encounter resistance, it may indicate that the cooker is still under pressure. Never force the lid open as remaining pressure can be hazardous. First, press the steam release button until all internal pressure has been released and the lid can be opened. If there is no more steam coming from the valve, the safety locking pin may be still in the locked position, preventing the lid from being opened. Gently tap on the handle to unlock the pin and open the lid. If the lid is still difficult to open, switch the cooker off at the wall and allow to cool down until the lid can be easily opened.